Hi everyone. I just wanted to provide you an update with what we're doing with the uh, course as we move into the first midterm. So I first want to give you the information about the first midterm. The first midterm is going to be uh, just scrolling down in the syllabus on July 15th. That's a week from tomorrow as I'm recording this on July 7th and it'll cover chapters one through three. The Midterm will open at 12.01 on July 15th, that's a week from tomorrow, 12.01 a.m., and it'll be available all the way until 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, July 15th, that night, okay? Uh, we, so we give you a 24-hour window in which you can log into Canvas, go to quizzes, and take your exam anytime within that window. Once you start the exam, you will have only two hours to complete it, and you must complete it within that window. So you can't start the exam, for example, at one minute to 11.59 or you know, start it at 11.59 and think it'll be open for two hours because it will close promptly at 11.59. Okay, so you need to take it started early enough so you get the full two hours. Okay, so make sure you give yourself two hours take the exam. It'll be 30 multiple choice questions. It'll cover chapter one through three. Uh, you should be looking at the um, practice quizzes for each chapter. You should be looking at the uh, practice midterm that we have up for you that covers chapter one through three, the practice midterm one, and of course the associated lectures and slides with that. That is the best way to prepare for this exam. Uh, the other thing I want to draw your attention to is also in the syllabus and that we've gone ahead and opened up in McGraw-Hill uh, some example problems. These are not multiple choice questions uh, so much. Your quizzes, your practice quizzes were more covering how your exam is going to look, but sometimes students want some extra practice with some of the concepts, etc. And so I did go ahead and set up some homework problems in McGraw-Hill Connect. So you would go ahead, open that link, and when you do, it'll take you to a uh, login page. And in that login page, um, you'll see that um, you will be providing their, your email, and that'll allow you to uh, log in to the course. So when you go in there, um, you don't have to give them any money okay don't give them your credit card it may prompt you for the credit card you don't have to do that you will simply come over and give them your email up here and when you give them your email uh, follow the prompts and it'll take you to the course and you will be able to take advantage of the two-week trial period now if you like what you see in the homework and you think it's going to be helpful for you with this course then after two weeks they'll ask you to provide the credit card information and you can acquire the book at that time. It's about close to $200, $170, something like that is the dollar amount and you can acquire the McGraw-Hill Connect and when you do then you'll be able to see some of the homework questions that we have set up here and uh, some students think that this is helpful for them so you may want to purchase this so you can look at these questions but I'm going to I've set this up so that you'll have a two-week trial period so you can try it for free for a while and see if you think that's helpful okay so again follow that link that is in the syllabus that I just showed you okay go ahead and follow that link that you saw in the syllabus and then you follow that link Again, you don't have to give them any money at this point. Just give them your email and you'll be able to take advantage of the two week trial period and see how you feel about that. And if you like it, then you can acquire it for the rest of the quarter. If you don't like it that much, you don't think it's that helpful, then you just let your free, free two week trial period expire and it doesn't cost you anything. So just an opportunity for you there to check that out. Okay, so that's where we are at this point. Again, it is uh, important. The most important part of this discussion is that you are aware and planning for uh, taking your exam, which will be 30 multiple choice questions. That'll be opening at 12.01, 12.01 a.m. on 7.15. It'll be open for basically 24 hours. 
you can uh, work that any time within that 24-hour window up to 11.59 p.m. on July 15th, and then it'll close on you, okay? So if you start it too late, you won't get the full two hours. So carve out a two-hour window during that uh, time on the 15th, and uh, you should be able to do well on that 30 multiple choice question exam. Okay, best way to prepare, other than reaching out to the teaching team, obviously, with questions, and there are extended hours now, which I'm sure you saw an announcement for, but um, you need to um, work those multiple choice questions and uh, look at the um, practice quizzes for they have multiple choice questions, the practice quizzes, look at that, and look at the practice midterm, which is also made up of multiple choice questions, and then you'll see there's associated lectures with each one of those. Okay, that's the main thing I wanted to cover at this time. Sorry we never get to meet in person. Hopefully you've been uh, seeing those videos and following along with the material. If you have questions or concerns, uh, please reach out to myself or the teaching team, and we will talk to you soon.